I learned about being a fan of music from the Beatles, and that was their whole catalog at the same time. And so I didn't know. The, the Expo sleeves were destroyed because it was in a flooded basement. So <laughs> yeah. I commandeered these albums, took them home, it was in a friend's flooded basement, took them out of the sleeves, and put them between paper towels. And so I didn't, I kind of knew, you know, there was some different pictures. Sometimes they had beards, sometimes they didn't, whatever. <laughs> and um, so I didn't know who, which one was Paul singing and which one was John singing or which one was, I knew Ringo's voice was pretty distinct. Otherwise, I didn't really had no knowledge of who they were, who was singing what, who wrote what, anything about it. What I understood was this is rock music. And I think that that got sort of stuck in my DNA because that was my first experience. That was, and not as a musician, but just as a, as a fan. I, music became important to me like I did that as a hobby. Um, I would come home after school and put on headphones or I had one of those record players that looked like a suitcase and you fold down the turntable and then right. the speakers would detach. Nice, nice unit. Yeah. And they actually sound, if you can still find one, they sound pretty damn good. Mm -hmm. And I, I would listen to records on that. And um, I think that that was, I, I really, as I got older, started to sort of understand and learn more about what they would do and, and how, um, you know, they would go and be into different kind of things and different styles of music as the individual Beatles and then they would bring that into their band. Right. And, basically whatever influence that they had would make sense. And as my career as a musician went along, um, I actually did a lot of going backward. Like I, as a, as a kid, I didn't buy Rolling Stones records or Led Zeppelin records or um, Aerosmith records. Anything that was on the radio in Seattle, I didn't, I didn't buy it because, because it was. You know, I looked for things that were sort of a little more off the off the beaten path. Yeah, mm -hmm. no, it's the same, actually, on the guitar okay, um, um, So I got into those bands later, but uh, the point was really that, that there was a diversity. And, and as a, someone who, uh, I guess as a singer maybe first, and then maybe a songwriter, been known to be in that sort of hard rock vein, it's kind of a small part of what I've done with my whole career. Yeah. Um, it's maybe a memorable part, but Soundgarden as a band, for example, had we gathered a lot of fans that were, um, e like some of them like hardcore metal fans, um, death metal fans. Uh, we were none of us in Soundgarden were ever aficionados with that kind of music. Mm -hmm. We didn't sit around and listen to Slayer. We we like aggressive music, but it just was kind of a, a part of what we did. And as you can tell by later records, you know, we started doing a lot of things. Right. A lot of things. Um, but that's that's sort of the best way to explain it to like a new fan. For me, I've always felt like I am someone that likes a lot of different kinds of music, and if I feel like I have um, the the natural ability to, to do what I want, I'm going to want to go get involved in it, depending on what it is. And I'm also some, somewhat impulsive. Um, um. You know, you, you mentioned the Beatles, and one of the interesting things about this record is that it rewards uh, somebody who listens to it all the way through. Of course, yeah, yeah. Um, which, I don't know if that's kind of a lost art these days with iTunes and everything, or uh, or do people I think it depends on your age. It's a, so the problem is that people who are interested in that are also people who kind of just keep listening to the old records, yeah. and they don't really buy the new <laughs> records. And this album is not really a throwback. Not at all. It's sort of modern music. It's, if anything, it's sort of ahead of its time. but. In, but in a in in one sense, it being the most album oriented album I've ever made is a throwback. To, you know, in terms of, of the fact that you listen from beginning to end, um, and the music never stops, and it's just an, an it, like it's like a modern stoner record. 